What's up guys, Hong, OG Fitness. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Yeah, it's true, I haven't, been, I haven't made a video like this in a little bit because I've been you know, busy uh, editing uh, you know, video clips for uh, the podcast. You know, the one I did with uh, Shaddy, the one I did with Ramsey. And uh, yeah, so anyways, welcome back to you know, original format, so to speak. Um, new format's gonna come up soon. I'll be able to film in the gym and all that. I think I told you guys that, but uh, just for those of you guys who don't know, I'll start filming at the gym soon. Things are starting to open up. And uh, yeah, so it's gonna be a good thing. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about is running detrimental to BJJ and Judo? Okay, so let's, uh, let, me, let me read you guys the question. This is from Luxury Lifestyle. Uh, somebody who follows me, a uh, member of the community that follows me on, on uh, YouTube. Uh, sorry, not YouTube. Yeah, that's, that's a given, but also on IG, on Instagram, and then sent me this message. You guys can send me messages there too. Um, I'm not always super active, but uh, you know, in the past, but now I am more so, right? Because I'm always on social media, uh, doing my thing, trying to promote myself and blah, 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 blah. Okay, so this is the question. Hey coach, I started to train BJJ. I run in the morning about three, four kilometers. And in the afternoon, I do BJJ for 1.5 hours. I read negative stuff about running online. Can you share your thoughts about BJJ guys or judo guys running? Should they run or not? I read that it's detrimental to practitioners explosiveness. Mm. Great question, great question. Now, uh, a couple of things here. Mm, running in the morning, three, four K, like yeah, that's you can do that in about, well I do 5K in about half an hour, you know, tops. 25, 25 minutes, 30 minutes. Um, and then after that, uh, BJJ, I don't think it's bad at all. It's great for your um, cardio, right? And it's also good to burn calories, you know, like jogging and all that and running. So there's nothing wrong with it. <clears throat> and having good cardio is always beneficial. Now, do you need to run for judo and BJJ? No, you don't. <laughs> I don't believe so, uh, I, I really don't. I think that you could get away with uh, just doing judo and doing BJJ to work your cardio specifically for that type of sport, for, for BJJ and for judo. Judo, it's a lot of stop and go, and BJJ is also stop and go a little bit. That, you know, it's a little bit, um, uh, the, the rounds are longer, so you need a little bit more endurance there. Um, you know, as opposed to judo, it's a lot of VO2 max sprinting type of things. And so what I'm trying to get at is that you don't really need to run for BJJ judo. Is it detrimental? Uh, no, it's not detrimental. Um, now let's see here. What's the other question? Da, 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 da. Should they run or not? Well, you don't need to. So it's, it's, you don't need to run. But if you want to run because you enjoy it and it's, it's going to increase your overall cardio, that, that's a good thing. So, you know, you can never uh, have too much cardio in my opinion, okay? And is it detrimental to a practitioner's explosiveness? Nope, not sure. You would have to like, um, I'm sure, like I'm not sure where you read that, um, but if you were to send me the link to the article or the video where you heard that from, maybe I would have more context to understand why they would say, uh, why that some people might have said that it's detrimental to uh, your explosiveness. But um, from where I'm standing and from um, my understanding, what I know, and no, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not detrimental at all. <laughs> So if you like to run, keep running. Uh, of course, do it properly with proper form. Um, you know, you're gonna have to stretch out and all, and there's a lot of things that go into it because if you run with ter horrible form and you heel strike, uh, you're gonna mess up your knees and your back eventually, you know? So you gotta watch out for that. Me, personally, I do not run because, and I enjoy running. Like, I, I enjoy running, sprinting. I, I love the feeling, the endorphins that it releases, the dopamine and everything. Um, but I stopped doing it because right now I'm addressing my, I got lower back issues and I got knee issues too. So I have to address those first 
and then from there and even from there like I wouldn't uh, Hmm, I don't know if I'd go back to running. It's just too much impact in my opinion, but I'm also 42 So I don't know how you are but for a younger person, you know Like I don't think it should be a problem if you're doing it correctly if you, you recover properly You're well hydrated your techniques perfect you give yourself um, uh, Enough time to recover because too much running can in the long run It's gonna blow out your knees not blow out your knees But it's gonna make create holes in your knees if you do it all wrong and so on and so on so anyways all that to say that uh me i don't run not because i don't enjoy it i did i, I really like it like you know in, in 20 30 minutes you can feel you can get that runner's high which is really cool but to me it's detrimental uh definitely for my joints at this point in my life because of all the injuries i have so what i'm trying to say here is uh as far as i know no no it doesn't like explosiveness has to do with um, your muscle fiber types and everybody's different. This is genetic how explosive you are. Okay, so that's that's gonna be for another video But for now uh, If you could send me more information, I'll look it up But guys uh, whoever's in the community and who knows about this kind of stuff put the comments down below Let me know if you agree don't agree and uh, I'm always open to being corrected I don't know everything guys and that's okay. You don't know to, to, you don't need to know everything you know to be making videos and giving your opinion and, and, and stuff. So <clears throat> there you go, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, by the way, of course, like, comment, uh, subscribe, share the video, help me grow the channel and voila, love you guys, peace.